back to the last ranger and i'm gary um there's no one else what do you mean i'm not counting you okay um i'm going over the finch runtley redhead today um i really i really 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 like this knife i really like finch knives in general uh i have all three um knives um i have like the runtley i have the kutuna Tacuna, and i have the 1929 and i don't think they make any others but someone will correct me but uh they they have some upcoming knives so i really like this knife though um i got it uh through white mountain knives and it cost me 144 dollars but i used the um a 10 percent discount and got it for whatever 10 percent is or 14 i got it for 14 less dollars than 144 dollars using um of the 10 percent code um love them knives consider checking them out love them knives he's he's a really great reviewer i really like him um i think it came out in july 2020 and i've i've carried it off and on since i've got it um i've i've done a, some edc uh edc uh wednesday video i believe i did it in the park and I talk about it in the this video or the that video so it features like oh I, I probably didn't say it's designed by Finch knives and it's designed in America uh, Stillwell Kansas but I had to do some digging um, best tech knives built this knife and best tech knives is a really uh, good knife maker out of uh, China so it, it was, it was like, like we, it's, I consider best tech knives and we knives and Civivi knives as great Chinese knives. Um, it features like, uh, this really cool, it's called the Finch redhead, uh, Runtley redhead. And it features a really cool red, um, G10 scales. I really like them. It, it has kind of like a like a wood uh well i don't see it i don't think it's a wood pattern but it, it, it resembles a wood pattern but it has a pattern in it and it's really slick but it it's at the same time it's it's kind of grippy and i really like i don't i hope uh, finch uh includes this badge on every knife they make and i believe they do but uh, i hope they keep doing the, the same thing and hope maybe it, they will just come up with some like cooler designs um uh, like um a different material when they do their badge this badge is uh it's this badge glows in the dark it's uh features a a sapphire crystal material i don't know if you can see it but it glows in the dark trust me um but i really like this uh how this tapers down to like uh how it's fat on the end and the blade and it's perfectly tapers down to this uh i mean small smaller butt and it's a a three finger grip you can't much fit much more in, uh, than three fingers on this it's a um, 154 cm steel and this is um this is a titanium clip but every uh, everything else is uh, uh, steel so um, it's like three and a quarter inch is folded up and five and a half inches open and it's meant to it's meant to like have a pinch grip to open it and also it has a flipper tab so you can flip it open too so you can eat you can just pinch it or flip it so I, I really like to flip it <laughs> um, and it's it's drop shutty oh make a liar out of me once you get it past the uh, the detent so 
Um, I think this knife is uh, one sexy knife, you know, like it's a gentleman's carry. I, I really think I it's it's both a gentleman's carry and I could uh, see it being a user in somebody's tackle box because I think it the finch or the runtly means some kind of fishing lure. So they meant probably to um, have the knife appear in some toolboxes or tackle boxes and as long as uh, and as well as pocket carry um, and I just really dig this knife um, I dig everything about it it's I, from the logo insert and the handle to the rich red scales um, I would I mean I think it's called a sheep's foot but I I call it a reverse tanto blade I I I think of it as a reverse tanto shape um, and all the black hardware this uh, uh, chrome or I, I'm probably steel chrome looking shroud it's it's around the black uh, pivot it's kind of sexy you know it's on both sides too and there's a little uh, there's minimal hardware that shows um, it just basically one one screw on either side not counting the screws in the clip it's just a really 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 nice looking knife and uh, this Finch logo I mean styling of this logo this uh, the old styling but this fit fits this knife and I it fits every one of its knives but I could see if, if they release a modern knife down the road you could uh, they could play with this logo in this F in there too so I'm gonna oh I'm gonna cut some stuff show you how sharp it is so it's paracord oh shit I got hung up <laughs> I got hung up on the ch sharpening choil yeah it's I've this uh, I've had this knife uh, a long time and I've been cutting on it so it can it probably is a little dull because it, I've cut a lot of things with it um, it could probably go from go through some sharpening it's still it's still pretty sharp yeah it feels sharp I wish I had some paper lying around but I don't but trust me it's a very good cutter too it's a very good cutter besides looks so next I'm gonna compare it to some blades for size and I'll start out with a this Finch or well um, this real steel situs this is a medium size one I, I would call it a medium size because it's not it's shorter than the situs this is the Hogdika and this is the best tech engine it's a very small knife and you can see it's about it's about the same size as the Finch so I'm gonna wrap up this review and why by, by saying I appreciate uh, if you like and subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up um, and uh, check out some of my other videos um, I've, I've done uh, several videos of this too I'll at the end stick around um, you can click on some other videos that are related to the Finch Rontley thanks uh, thanks bye bye